Hello, welcome to episode okay, so two. Here's our blanket. Good. Excellent. Asymmetrical to begin right now. Dropping and sinking up. Notice how the. So just notice. Joining us for the second episode of next week. The Namaste. Hello and welcome to episode 42 of Namaste Yoga. We're working with the fourth Niyama. This is our penultimate class on the Yamas and the Niyamas. So um, the fourth Niyama, which means personal practices, the sort of guidelines of how to treat yourself, good self-care, it's called Svadhyaya. And Svadhyaya is the Niyama of... Um, studying yourself and it has to do with studying the scriptures the, the scriptures associated with yoga and I love how Nichola Joy Devi talks about it too because she says that we can come to know ourselves better through nature and then of course um, there's the the uh, mantras too is a great way to practice Fadhyaya of course I have to <laughs> welcome Ninka here from yogabliss.me did I say that right? okay good um, she's here and she's going to be filling in for me when I'm away later in July. So, um, we're going to be having, you're probably going to do a chakra class, right? Yeah, probably a chakra balancing class, maybe one for all of them or maybe one for a specific one. So why don't you go ahead and rest back, lie down on your back. And we'll just begin to tune into ourselves to really start to um, get to know ourselves here. And begin by bringing awareness to your breathing. Just noticing how your breath is today. And then once you've tuned in to your breathing, start to bring some awareness to your body. Just noticing how the body is resting here today. And then tuning in to the emotions. Notice how you're feeling today. So I feel like this is something that we do all the time in yoga is check in with ourselves. But probably day to day as we're moving through our activities, we don't necessarily check in and notice how we're feeling. Perhaps if you've been um, practicing yoga for a long time, you do. But this is, is really valuable to tune in, to see what's going on in your own being and see what you need right now. So after checking in with your feelings today and when you, when you check in, no judgment, just noticing with compassion how you're feeling. Then begin to notice your thoughts, what's on your mind today. And then tune in with your spirit, your higher self, the part of you that is eternal and unchanging.
So as you're tuning in, allow yourself to take an introspective look at your being. Reminding yourself that you are a divine being. And that by practicing Svadhyaya, we can come to know ourselves better, know and love the higher aspect of ourselves in all our doings. So Svadhyaya guides us to know ourselves through outward observation and inner reflection. And Nichola Joy Devi says, sacred study of the divine through scripture, nature, and introspection guide me to the Supreme Self. So in our practice today, I thought we would connect with um, aspects of nature by practicing various um, salutations the earth salutation the sun salutation and the moon salutation to start to become aware of different aspects of nature and how they're reflected in our own personal being so as you're resting back begin to create some intention around how this practice could best serve you today And then when you feel ready, you can start to wiggle and stretch out and make your way up to a seated position. So Ninka, do you know the earth salutation? No. Okay. I know it too, but <laughs> not very well. So what I'm going to suggest, what I'll do, is give a preview of the whole thing for Ninka and for our viewers at home. And speaking of our viewers in their homes around the world, I have to give a special shout out and a thank you to various people today. Um, there was a woman from Japan that emailed me this week. She totally made my week. Her name's Sophia. She's actually native to Canada. She lives just a couple of hours from where I live in Ajax in Cambridge, Ontario, and she lives in Japan now. So. Hi, Sophia. I said I would say hello to her. And then also my friend Siobhan in Ireland, who's been really enjoying the podcast. And I want to thank her so much for her donation this week. And also, um, we've been starting to talk about maybe I should come to Ireland and teach a class. So if any of you have studios in Ireland or retreat centers, then maybe we should start thinking about uh, planning a retreat in Ireland. <laughs> Sound good? <laughs> I think Ninka comes. <laughs> <laughs> She's part of the package. <laughs> okay, so her salutation. Let's take a look at that. I'm actually not quite too sure. Oh, if I move my pack to the side, I can do this. Okay. So it starts kneeling, and you inhale and reach up, and then you exhale, you fold forward. And you bring your hands by your knees, inhale, toes come under, exhale, legs straighten. Inhale, knees bend, exhale, child's pose, hands come down by the knees. You inhale, reach the legs back, exhale, ground, roll the shoulders back and up, inhale, lift. Toes come under, so you're an upward facing dog, then lift the buttocks, exhale, legs come all the way through if you can, mine's a two-parter. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward, Paschimottanasana. Inhale, up. Exhale, you roll back and then you roll all the way back. <laughs> it's uphill here. <laughs> you roll all the way back to plow. And you come through to Upavista Kanasana. Inhaling, legs come in. Exhale, you roll back. Inhale, knees in. Exhale, lift into bridge. Inhale, lower, exhale, knees to chest. Inhale, up, all the way up, reaching up. 
Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Okay? That's a lot, yeah. So we'll, we'll follow. And, you know, it's like, do you remember the first time you did sun salutation? I, I can't, did it seem confusing? Right. So we actually, everybody's like, wow, it's so much longer than sun salutation. And we actually added up how many postures there are in sun salutation on earth. Same. <laughs> so that's interesting. It's, it's the same. You're probably going to need to move your mat like back a little bit because you're going to run out of room up here or you're going to run unless you do it facing this way. Yeah. Okay. Great. You want me to face this way? Let me do it this way too. Okay. That would work. That would be better for the plow too. Okay. All right. Oh, good. Okay, everybody ready at home? Make sure you have enough space. It's almost like you need a mat and a half length because of the overs and stuff. All right, so let's inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward, child's pose, hands by the feet. Bring the hands up by the knees, tuck the toes under, inhale. Exhale, straighten out through both legs. Inhale, bend. Exhale, child's pose. Bring your hands to your knees. Inhale, reach the legs back. Ground through the pubic bone as you exhale. Inhale, lift the chest. Tuck the toes under, upward facing dog. Bend the knees, exhale, walk the legs through. Uphill, Paschimottanasana. <laughs> Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, roll back, legs come over, plow. Exhale, roll forward, open the legs, Upavista Konasana. Inhale, legs in. Exhale, roll back. Inhale, knees bend. Exhale, lift, bridge. Inhale, lower, draw the knees into the chest. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, roll up, come all the way up onto the knees. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come up kneeling. Exhale, hands to the heart. Okay, we're going to do at least two more of those. I wanted to do three of each, but I think we'll do four of these because the, the first time through, it's like, what the heck, right? Because it's so unusual. Okay, so inhaling and exhaling. Breathe in, reach up. Breathe out, forward fold. Inhale, hands by the knees, tuck the toes under. Exhale, straighten the legs. Inhale, bend. Exhale, child's pose. Hands by the knees. Inhale, walk the feet back. Exhale, ground through the pubic bone. Inhale, lift, cobra. Tuck the toes under, upward facing dog. Bend the knees. Exhale, jump through. Legs up. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, Pachimottanasana. Inhale, roll back and exhale over. Inhale, roll up, legs come wide. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, legs in. Exhale, roll down. Inhale, knees bend. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Breathe out, knees to chest. Breathe in. Breathe out, rock yourself up. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, arc the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Good, okay. So let's do that again. Did that feel better the second time? Yeah. Okay, again. <laughs> Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Hands by the knees. Inhale, tuck the toes under. Exhale, lengthen through the legs. Inhale, bend. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, legs walk back. Exhale, root, tuck the tail under. Inhale, lift, tuck the toes under. Exhale, jump the legs through. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, roll back all the way back and over. Exhale, 
say I'll come through. Legs wide. Did you see the baby when pecker? Inhale, legs in. Exhale, roll down. Inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, knees to chest. Big inhale. Exhale, rock yourself up and over. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, roll up. Exhale, knees to chest. Hands to <laughs> hands to heart. <laughs> okay, let's do one more like that. What do you think now that you're getting to know it? It starts to flow, yeah. So the thing is, it's about your connection to the earth. Thing And think about this in terms of yourself. So this is study by and of oneself. So what is your connection to the earth like? Do you spend all your time indoors? Are you spending your time getting some time outside? Are you kind of walking on a cloud all the time? Or are your roots deep into the earth? Are you a grounded person? Or are you kind of frantic and all over the place? So. This, this one is going to help you to connect to the earth, to be much more grounded and rooted through more calm energy, drawing the energy from the earth. Okay? Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Hands by the knees, tuck the toes under as you inhale. Exhale, straighten the legs. Inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, into child's pose. Bring the hands back, walk the legs back, inhale, exhale, ground, inhale, lift. Tuck the toes under, upward facing dog, bend the knees, exhale, walk the legs all the way through. Inhale, reach up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, roll back, roll all the way back, plow. Exhale, roll through to Upavista Konasana. Inhale, legs in. Exhale, roll back. Inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, press up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, knees to chest. Big inhale. Exhale, roll all the way up and over. Reach up. Oop. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hand start. Good. So that was earth salutation. Okay. So then what I wanted to do was connect to nature more by standing up and going into mountain and tree pose. Okay. So let's stand for mountain first with the feet underneath the hips. Spread the toes nice and wide. Lengthen the legs down into the ground and allow the spine to lift up. Okay, so when we practice mountain pose, we practice how to weather the storms. You can think about a real mountain and how um, it's exposed to storms around it, how people live off the mountains, they cut the trees down off the mountains, wildlife lives on it. So, and the mountain just stands strong and calm through the whole thing. And so that's an inspiration to us to be able to stand calm in the face of the storm and to be able to stand our ground. And then let's do tree pose too as we actually, can you feel the roots that you're standing on here? So we're, we're standing on the roots of a beautiful maple tree here. So, um, okay, we're going to do left leg first, right toes turn out. You can keep your toes on the ground and you know, part of Svadhyaya is really tuning into your own needs in the moment and noticing what's good for you. So. Um, for me right now in this moment I feel quite energetic and good and so it would serve me to lift my leg up in this pose but if I'd had a really terrible night's sleep and I was feeling really unbalanced 
then it would serve me more to keep my foot on the ground. And so, you know, when we practice yoga, we're always tuning into how our practice can best serve us. And it's not about creating a shape, it's about honoring yourself in each shape. So um, you choose the best position for you. We'll start with the hands of the heart. And I was saying to my class, I almost always, if I'm practicing on my own, just leave my hands at my heart. So that might serve you, or you might choose to take the hands overhead. So whatever is going to work for you. But, you know, the tree te teaches us so much as we root down and grow our roots deep into the earth, then we can grow our branches out into the world. And so when it feels like we're lost and we need to do so much, really we just need to come back to ourselves and re-root Put our roots down. Okay, so let's release that. And we'll do this on the other side too. So standing firmly on the right leg now, turn the left toes out. The feet can stay on the ground for greater balance, or they can come up to the inside of the calf or all the way up. So one thing I see a lot in tree pose in my classes, and maybe you see this too, Ninka, where people put their foot on their knee because I guess that's as high as their flexibility in their hip will allow. But as soon as you put it on the, the knee joint, you're putting undue pressure on the the external ligament of the knee and it's it's just it's really bad for it so above or below hands start at the heart and then they can come overhead Good, and then release. So once we grow down into the earth and we find our place in the world and um, our value for being here, we find our ground, then we can grow out and we can reach up to the sun. So we're gonna do sun salutations now. So we're gonna stand at the top of our mat and we'll inhale and reach up. Let's exhale, dive forward. Inhale, walk the right foot back. Exhale, walk the left foot back, downward facing dog. Inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, child's pose. Pause here, breathe in. Breathe out, round up through the back, swoop the tail under cobra. Breathe in, toes tuck under, breathe out, downward facing dog. Breathe in, walk the right foot in. Breathe out, walk the left foot in. Breathe in, come up. Breathe out and hands to the heart. And just notice how it feels to do sun salutation after earth salutation. It feels so familiar and good. <laughs> and just notice what that says about us as people and yourself personally, what it's like to do something new and what it's like to come back to something that you, that's very familiar to. Okay, let's inhale, reach up, other side. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, left foot back. Exhale, right foot back. Inhale, bend your knees. Exhale, child's pose. Pause, breathe in here. Breathe out, round up through the back, swoop the tail through cobra. Breathe in, toes tuck under. Breathe out, down dog. Breathe in, left foot in. Breathe out, right foot in. Breathe in, come up. Breathe out, hands to the heart. Okay, breathe in, reach up. Breathe out, fold forward. Breathe in, right foot back. Breathe out, left foot back, downward facing dog. 
Breathe in, bend your knees. Breathe out, child's pose. Pause, breathe in here. Breathe out, round up through the back. Swoop the tail under, cobra. Breathe in, toes under. Breathe out, down dog. Breathe in, walk the right foot in. Breathe out, left foot in. Breathe in, swoop up. Breathe out, hands to the heart. Breathing in and out. Let's inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, left foot back. Exhale, right foot back. Inhale, knees bend. Exhale, child's pose. Pause, breathe in. Breathe out, round up through the back. Duck the tail through, cobra. Breathe in, toes under. Breathe out, downward facing dog. Breathe in, left foot in. Breathe out, right foot in. Breathe in, reach up. Breathe out, hands to the heart. Pause with the breath in and out. I just wish everybody could be here <laughs> doing this in this backyard. It's just so, with all the trees and all the, we've been having such nice, cool, windy weather. It's just so much fresh air right now. It, it feels so good. Okay, we're gonna do one more round of sun salutation. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, right foot back. Exhale, left foot back, down dog. Inhale, knees bend. Exhale, child's pose. Breathe. Cat cobra. Breathe in, toes tuck under. Breathe out, down dog. Breathe in, right foot in. Breathe out, left foot in. Breathe in, swoop up. Breathe out, hands to the heart. One more round, left side, inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, left foot back. Exhale, right foot back. Inhale, knees down. Exhale, child's pose. Pause, inhale. Exhale, round through the back, tail tucks all the way through, cobra. Inhale, toes under, exhale, down dog. Inhale, left foot in, exhale, right foot in. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, hands to the heart. Breathing in. And out. Good. So sun salutations, the sun is very much yang energy. And so that's about going out in the world and making things happen, very masculine energy. So we can come to know that side of ourselves. So now we're gonna practice moon salutation. And moon salutation is, you know, the, the yin side of the yin yang. So it's more feminine, it's more open, it's more receptive. So, um, we've never recorded the moon salutation. <laughs> I'm wondering if I should give a preview and then the way we'll do it for you, for you to be able to see it at home, is with our backs turned to you because it's gonna be, it's gonna be difficult. How do you usually teach it backs to, you don't, you don't do, do you know moon salutations? Yeah. Do you do the back to everybody when you do it? You do it facing them. It works out just fine. I don't know. Which one do you know? I don't know if it's the Kapala one. Let me give the preview and you tell me, okay? So um, you'll stand to one side of your mat. You'll inhale, reach up. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, center. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, center. Big step. Exhale into Goddess Victory Squat. Inhale, reach up. Five point star. Toes turn in, you shift and tip into triangle pose. Bending the front knee, side angle pose. Reach up to through star. Coming back to warrior two. 
around to warrior one exhale forward into a low lunge turn face front half squat half squat on the other side toes turn in Parjvottanasana up to tree Kanasana up to five point star goddess victory squat step to the left side bend side bend hands to the heart okay so we're gonna do moon salutation now and the way we're gonna do it is I'm going to face away from you but Ninka's gonna to face towards you I'm gonna call the right and left she's gonna mirror it so you can look at it from two perspectives and Ninka's gonna do the modified versions of it I'm gonna do the modified okay I'm gonna do the modified version of it so that if you have any knee issues I'm not gonna do the deep knee flexions for this one but Ninka will be so you can watch her if you want to go into the uh, deeper knee flexions for this okay so we're starting at the left side of your mat inhale reach up exhale side bend <laughs> inhale center exhale side bend inhale exhale big step goddess victory squat inhale reach up turn the left toes in right toes out shift and tip for trikonasana inhale bend the right knee exhale take the left arm all the way over parjva konasana inhale bring the left hand back and the right hand up there's stargazer we're peaceful warrior inhale exhale into warrior two inhale face your front right knee exhale come part way down or Ninka's going to show all the way down inhale face front half squat or full squat inhale exhale come to the other side half squat or full squat turn the right toes in left toes towards the back of the mat Parjavottanasana, right toe turns out, inhale, lift the right hip and the right arm, inhale, up into five point star, turn the toes out, exhale, goddess victory squat, knees way back, inhale, step up to the right, exhale, side bend, inhale, center, exhale, side bend, inhale, center, and exhale. That feels good today. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, center. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, center. Big step to the left. Turn the toes out. Exhale, goddess victory squat. Inhale, reach up. Five point star. Right toe turns in. Left toe towards the back of the mat. Shift and tip. Trikonasana. Inhale, bend the left knee. Exhale, right arm comes over, Parjva Kanasana. Inhale, bring the left hand up, Stargazer. Inhale, exhale, Warrior Two. Inhale, turn around, face the front of the mat. Full squat or half squat, Ninka's showing the full squat. Inhale, face front, half squat. Exhale, other side, full squat or half squat. Turn both toes to the front of the mat. Parjvottanasana. Left arm comes up. Trikonasana. Inhale, reach up. Five point star. Exhale, goddess victory squat. Knees back. Inhale, reach up to the left. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, center. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, center. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, center. Exhale hands to the heart. Breathing in. And breathing out. Inhale, reach up. Breathe out, side bend. Breathe in, center. Breathe out, side bend. This is nice facing. Breathe in. Breathe out, goddess victory squat. Breathe in, five point star. Turn the left toes in, right toes towards the front of the mat. Shift, tip, trikonasana. 
Inhale, bend the front right knee. Exhale, left arm comes all the way over, Parjvokanasana. Inhale, bring that left arm up. Exhale, stargazer. Inhale, exhale, shift into warrior two. Inhale, face the feet. Exhale, fuller half squat. Inhale, face front. Exhale, other side. Inhale, back toes turn in, front toes turn forward, Parjvokanasana. Inhale, open up, Trikonasana. Exhale, five point star. Turn the toes out, inhale. Exhale, goddess victory squat, knees back, but under. Inhale, up to the right. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, center. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, center. Exhale, hands to the heart. Good. Breathing in. And breathing out. That's one and a half. <laughs> Inhale, reach up. Exhale, side bend. Inhale. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, turn the toes out. Step into goddess victory squat. Inhale, reach up. Five point star. Right toes in, left toes forward. Shift and tip tree kanasana. Inhale, bend the front left knee. Exhale, bring the right arm over, Parjva Kanasana. Inhale, right arm arches all the way back. Left arm reaches up, Stargazer. Inhale, bring the arms for Warrior Two. Exhale, sink into it. Inhale, face front, Warrior One. Exhale, part way down or all the way down. Inhale, face front, half squat. Exhale, half squat on the other side. Inhale, turn towards the right foot. Exhale, Parjvottanasana. Inhale, open Trikonasana. Exhale, up, five point star. Toes turn out. Inhale, exhale, goddess victory squat. Inhale, step up to the left. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, center. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, center. Exhale, hands to the heart. One more round. You're doing good, one more round. <laughs> okay. Actually, it does feel, um, I, was, I, I really noticed that when I practice outside, it feels very different from practicing inside. And this does feel a lot more peaceful outside than it does inside. Okay. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, Simon. It's all the extra oxygen. Inhale. Exhale, Simon. Inhale. Exhale, goddess victory squat. Inhale, reach up, five point star. Turn the right toe forward, left toe in. Shift, tip, trikonasana. Inhale, right knee bends. Exhale, left arm comes over. Inhale, left arm comes up. Exhale, stargazer. Inhale and exhale into warrior two. Inhale, face front. Exhale, part way down or all the way down. Inhale, front half squat or full squat. Exhale, the other side. Inhale, right toes in, left toe toward the front wall. Parjvottanasana. Inhale, open, Trikonasana. Exhale, up, toes turn. Inhale, exhale, goddess victory squat. Inhale, up to the right. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, center. Exhale, side bend. Inhale. Exhale, hands to the heart. Breathing in. Breathing out. Okay, last round. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, side bend. Inhale. Exhale, side bend. Inhale. Exhale, goddess victory squat. Inhale, reach up, five point star. Right toes in, left toes towards the back. Inhale, exhale, Trikonasana. Inhale, front knee bends. Exhale, Parjvakanasana. Inhale, right arm back. Look up, stargazer. Inhale, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, face front, warrior one. Part way down or all the way down as you exhale. Inhale, face front. 
exhale other side inhale exhale straighten the legs inhale open trikonasana exhale up inhale exhale goddess victory squat inhale step up to the left exhale sideman inhale center exhale sideman inhale center and exhale good we did it moon salutation okay start to make your way down to seated we're going to do a kundalini kriya for the essence of the self as part of svadhyaya study by and of oneself okay so from a seated position we're going to do a kundalini kriya which is a set of yoga postures for the essence of self and I thought this was a great one since we were doing Svadhyaya. The idea with this one is that it helps to move life force through the body to the heart so that you can give and receive love without fear, anger or resentment. So I think Svadhyaya is all about having self-compassion so that you can reach out into the world with compassion. The first one, the arms come up in front on kind of an angle at a V shape. You circle your arms around and back. And we're going to do this with breath of fire. And breath of fire in Kundalini is just active exhales, the navel draws back and active inhale like this. And we'll be doing that with the arms. The first one we're going to do for one minute. So inhale, bring the arms up. And here we go. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, lower the hands down. Okay, okay. <laughs> so the next one, we're, you, we're gonna, you're gonna watch Ninka because she can do this one well. Me, I'm a beginner, I'm still working on this one. You're gonna lie on your belly. You're going to pelvic tilt so the low back stays long as you draw both legs in and hold on to the feet you're going to inhale lift exhale lower inhale lift and exhale lower so actually if you lift your legs can you actually rock in this one yeah inhale lift exhale lower and we're going to do that for one minute so inhale up exhale down And I'll show you how I'm working with it right now. How much time do we have left? 10 more seconds, let's go! <laughs> Good, release. Let's come up and back into a child's pose. Or you can rest on your belly. It's up to you. <laughs> Good. 
We see it's summertime here in the Northern Hemisphere and it's time for our practices to reflect nature and be vigorous and full of life. Just like it is outside right now in the Northern Hemisphere. Okay, the next one is much simpler. <laughs> but you're saving up for the next one, so. Um, the next one we've kind of already done. You lie on your back with your knees to your chest and your head in. You inhale up and exhale back. That's gonna be interesting on this earth. Okay, ready? Inhale. <laughs> Exhale, let's start the timer. halfway. About 10 more seconds. Good, and up. Okay, so for the next one, we're gonna be standing and squatting. So, um, did you wanna do the modified version of this? Okay, Ninka's gonna show a modified version of this. I'm gonna do the full version for as long as I can. <laughs> okay, so the modified version, we're standing. The legs are about a foot and a half apart. You're interlacing the fingers on top of your head. You inhale, you straighten your legs, you exhale, you bend your knees as much as you can. So be safe for yourself. So it's inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Okay, for those of us who are doing the big crow pose, oh my goodness. You start here, you inhale, stand all the way up, and you exhale, you lower all the way down. Oh, I have to top my legs into this. Are we ready? Here we go. 26 times. That's 10. Ten more. Good. That's it. Sit down. We go right back into the arm circles. The heart rate's gonna be high, that's okay. We're gonna sit quietly after this. Inhale, take the arms up. And breath of fire. Inhale, 
Exhale, hands to the heart, sit quietly. So sit it with your hands at your heart now. Feel the essence of yourself, dropping all self-limitations, surrendering to the divine self, and experiencing your essence. So feel your body sitting on the ground. Start to gently stretch and wiggle, opening your eyes. <sighs> Lots of birds on our feeder right now. Oh yeah, we've got this woodpecker that's coming to our place now. Yeah, can you see it? He sits around the back. We always sit on this side. Hopefully you can see it. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Um, so thank you for joining us for episode 42 of Namaste Yoga. Maybe just sit with 
a Shavasana now and reflect on how you would like to practice Svadhyaya in your, in your life. Working with a mantra is a great way. I intended to work with the Gayatri mantra, but my class plan was a little ambitious. It's just a little too long, so we might work with it next week. Um, but yeah, thanks for being with us, and we'll see you next week for Namaste Yoga, the last of the Niyamas. Thank you, Ninka, for coming today. Namaste, my friend. Namaste, my friends.